What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Michael Travel. I have a big announcement for you. Today I'm starting a new project called Beautiful People of the World. In this project I will meet and interview different people from different fields all around the world and ask them questions that I think you want to know about them. In this show, the first episode, I'm going to have Noan. Noan is an artist, he's a beautiful angel soul from the inside and the outside. And I think that Noan has a lot to say to you guys. So please, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of people coming to this interview. Beautiful and extremely interesting people. And I think you're going to like it. So let's jump right to the interview and meet Noan. Enjoy. Hi and welcome to my show, beautiful people of the world. Today I have a special guest with me. We have Noan. Hello Noan, how are you doing? Hello mom. <laughs> uh, guys, like you know, uh, this uh, show is, uh, is always the same. We have five different questions. It's the same question, different person from different places in the world. Now we're broadcasting to you from, um, from Tulum, uh, Mexico, and we're jumping into the interview. So, Noan, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you grew up, and what do you do for a living? I think I'm from Jupiter, but on my passport they say I'm Canadian, whatever it means. But I don't feel Canadian. I don't even know if I'm from Earth, but uh, I think I'm from Jupiter, I don't know why. But yeah, on my passport they say I'm Canadian. But now I'm a, I'm a Mexican. I'm in Mexico with three X's. What do I do for a living? Uh, I avoid crocodiles. Nice. I breathe, of course. I try to eat healthy. I don't jump off the buildings. Important. Yeah. Uh, but for a living, yes, that's the foundation of what I do for a living. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, my next question for you, Noan, is um, how long have you been in uh, Tulum and what Tulum means for you, brother? <laughs> one year, no, five years ago I was here for one year and now I've been here for six months. I'm a, uh, okay, Let, let's speak the truth, right? Let's I escaped, truth, I escaped the Nazis because what's going on right now in KK Canada, I don't resonate with it. If you don't know where KK Canada is, just above USSA, you know. Uh, and I feel there's more freedom here in Mexico for now. I don't know for how long, but for now I feel like there's more like um, freedom here. We don't feel the scam pandemic so much. Uh, I'm not saying there's no virus, but uh, I don't know exactly what's going on in the world, but something is fishy. But here I feel more peace and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna maybe energy build. Energy is more relaxed. Energy, energy is more relaxed, yeah. More relaxed, yeah. So I might build a little house or yeah, I'm in different conversations with great, great, great people. And a lot of people, a lot of great people from Israel, by the way. Wow, thank you for that, Noan. Uh, Noan, um, tell us, what is, uh, of course, for you, what is so special about Tulum? What's the reason that you're here? First, the nature is amazing. And, well, I shouldn't say, yeah, first, first the nature, and it attracts amazing people. Great souls, great, 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 great conversations. A lot of um, like-minded people asking the right questions. A lot of people think they're awake, but a lot of people, like me, I know I'm sleeping and I'm trying to wake up. Wow, wow, this is so strong what you just said, man. This is so strong what you just said. So yeah. strong. Right. Like they say that, you just told me, like they say in, uh, in Hebrew, like uh, people are sleeping on their nose, no? no? You <laughs> shouldn't laugh. <laughs> and you sleep on your nose because you're, re you're really deep asleep, you know? Deep asleep, yeah. <laughs> so maybe now I'm sleeping on the side right now. I feel I'm sleeping on the side. I'm not that asleep, but I'm still asleep. <laughs> um, all right, uh, Noan, thank you for that. Uh, my next question is uh, the fourth question. Is uh, where do you stand with uh, the current situation in the world right now? Well, what is your main uh, uh, opinion about uh, the COVID or the political situation, wherever you like to, uh, to answer? It's an heavy one, but uh, you know, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> where do I stand? <laughs> It's really, it's really hard right now to understand what's really going on, like most things in life, I think. Political, religion, belief, where, do, where are we co coming from? Is the planet a globe or is it flat? 
about everything. I'm more like a journalist. I'm like, I'm trying to be objective. So I don't have a dog in the race. I don't have, you know, a book to sell or a career to protect. But again, for that too, I feel something is fishy. Something doesn't smell right. And uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I hear all the speculations, uh, um, all the theories, or you can call it conspiracy theorist. Um, but yes, there is a lot of theories out there. And for sure what they say in the media, me, I doesn't resonate, doesn't resonate with me at all. Um, what's really going on, I don't know. Where do I stand? I'm trying to always have a, a step back and be objective. And uh, I don't know where I stand actually. Guys, unfortunately, we had a technical problem with the camera and we couldn't finish the uh, interview. So the last question is, what is the, la the last question uh, to Noan is what is your message to the world? And we didn't get this uh, uh, this answer from uh, Noan. But I promise you guys that Noan is gonna send me a record of himself answering this question, and then I will add it to the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this channel. Please subscribe and support my channel so I can continue travel, meet more beautiful, interesting people, see more beautiful places for you guys and bring this high quality content for you. Have a nice day.